Raptorium miners, mad face, get the flock off flock pool. Let me tell you why. Welcome everyone, Rabbit here at the Rabbit Mining YouTube channel and today we're going to be looking at flock pool and why you should be moving your hash rate to something else. Well wait, why should I move my hash rate? Because Rig 5 says so. By move your hash rate, I do not mean off of Raptorium. Stay on Raptorium, it is currently the most profitable coin to mine on Ryzen CPUs. What I mean is move your hash rate off of flock pool. It is absorbing way too much hash rate and it could potentially harm the future growth of Raptorium as a whole. If you know what I'm talking about, let me know in the comments what you think about this. Let's jump to my workstation and see what exactly is happening. Here I am at Mining Pool Stats and looking at Raptorium. Now you can use this website whether you want to check out Ethereum or any other proof of work coin when it comes to CPU, GPU, or even ASIC mining coins. Now we're looking at Raptorium obviously and here's Flock Pool number one. 156.26 mega hash that works out to be 72.6 percent of the known hash rate on the network now anyone that knows anything about crypto mining knows that anything over 51 percent or more you could potentially attack the network and that just leaves a whole bunch of red flags for investors and anyone else that is looking into a coin now before you even comment below yes uh, Raptorium does have backup protection in the form of smart nodes. Now, how a smart node works is it holds a whole bunch of people's collateral if you choose to send to the smart node, but it's the backup chain. So if it does hit a 51% on the proof of work, which is the mining side of the network, then the smart nodes can, you know, be like, yo, this isn't happening and revert those transactions. They Proof of work cannot halt any transactions. The backup nodes will kick in and complete, keep the network running nice and safe. So a 51% attack on Raptorium is highly unlikely. It doesn't matter. It mean it won't happen. It can happen, especially if you own a whole bunch of nodes as well. But when you're looking at this from a hash rate point of view, and a lot of people don't even know if the, about the smart nodes even existing or how they even work. So yes, there is a backup security chain, but just looking at this straight out, the coin in general, people are thinking this is straight up ready for an attack. Right here is a prime example about people not really knowing about smart nodes. So CPU mining on Reddit, right here, danger. Raptorium miners should change their mining pools immediately. So they're saying it's prone to an attack on the network. What is a 51% attack? It goes through everything, but he doesn't mention anything about those smart nodes. Even through all the comments, everybody just keeps talking about stuff and if a certain pool is safe, but remember 51% attack attacks the complete network through one set pool or entity. But here, no one is talking about a smart node, even though it does have backup security. I do point people to other pools and whatnot. And I do talk a little bit about smart nodes in these comments, but nobody else knows they even exist. So it is not wide known or widespread. Looking at a healthy network, let's take a look at Ethereum here. Here you can see Ethermine is the number one pool currently with 230 terahash, but it is only 27.5% of the total network hash rate. Uh, second place F2 pool, 26%, 9%, and you know, it slowly drops down. We don't have any centralized pools on Ethereum, your hash rate is spread around. This is what you need for a nice, strong network. Let's look at Ravencoin as well. 35.4% is the number one pool, 27%. We're not at 50% or above it on anything else. When investors or something are looking at stuff, they know about how all these attacks work and they're looking at the blockchains and obviously a massive whale will know that Raptorium has its backup smart chain, but the average investor, average person just getting into crypto, you know, they just heard about it. Like, oh, I'm gonna buy it. But if they know about mining and they look at this, they're going, whoa, this network's gonna get attacked because a lot of people don't know about smart nodes. And in general, you just shouldn't have that much hash rate on a single pool regardless. So why does Flockpool have so much hash rate in the first place? There are a couple factors that do play into this and one, the dev of the miner, as we know, this is the best miner to use. It's got the optimization for all the CPUs to maximize your CPU's performance. So the dev that actually made this miner is also the creator of Flockpool. So not only does it matter what pool you are mining to, your miner will automatically swap the Flockpool on its own to do the dev fee. There's also a reduced mining pool fees when using 
the miner on flock pool so another thing pointing it right to it another thing going on is flock pool is built right into the miner by default to automatically go there so i'm going to look at my config mine's all changed obviously because i mine into the o11 data pool again i'm not promoting it or anything choose any pool you want but i'm just telling you guys to move your hash rate off of flock pool till it's at at least 50 percent or less but anyway, here's your main URL based on 1.2 plus miner that you do got to change. It's this right here. When you first download this miner, you will have to change this because this will throw you straight to flock pool on default. Now there's arguments saying every miner knows this, but the other issue is there is a lot of new miners, CPU mining gamers that haven't mined before coming because they heard about Raptorium. There's GPU miners coming that just got into GPU mining that's coming to CPU mine. So there's miners that are brand new to crypto mining in general. There's also miners that have not been doing it for very long, so they don't really know how all these setups work. So there's a URL here as well as a URL URL backup. I highly recommend change both of those to any pool you do want to use. That way you're not diverted straight to flock pool by default. Again, uh, people are saying, you know, you just change this. You also got to change your user address right here, which is your wallet. Most people, even newer people do know that you got to put in your wallet address and that is they find this one right here. But a lot of people are not switching their actual pool where they want to go to or they think they did by switching this one right here. This one's a lot easier to see. It's right out in front of you than this one. So they've switched to a pool and they're actually on the backup and not the main pool. Really, realistically, even though that just says URL, just by looking at it, you would think this is the main one. But there's been people asking me, I put in the address, how come I'm mining on flock pool still? How come I'm not mining on the pool I want? So this is potentially the main reason because you're putting the URL to the pool you want in the wrong spot in your miner. I am going to do a nice newbie easy how to get running mining video in the future. I'm just pointing a few things out right now. And again, you know, uh, they're saying some people are saying I don't want to name any names or anything, but they're saying this is not happening. People are changing it. And I'm telling you, people are not changing it or they're changing the wrong one because they don't really know what's going on. The default miner before 1.2 was our pool. So if I look at our pool right now, look at it. It is down in fifth. This used to be the second place pool and it was full of people loaded. Now the miner is not default going to it. Now it's going to flock pool and flock pool shot to the moon. And again, I don't recommend anybody to use our plant unless our plant recently fixed stuff. But there's something fishy going on there. I don't seem to get the hash rates you should be getting. And then payouts are obviously a lot lower than pretty much any other pool I have tried. So my recommendation to all you Raptorium miners out there that are mining, even if it's with your GPU trying it out and test it, try a different pool. I'm not saying flock pool is a bad pool. Flock pool is a great pool. We just got to pull that hash rate below 50%. That's all I'm asking from you guys. Uh, second, I am kind of asking guys to stay away from our plant because that one is bad. But at, when it goes to a pool, it all depends your location. So Supernova, give it a shot. If you're in France, France, obviously, you know, if you're in North America, might not be too great. O11 data, that is the pool I personally use myself. Whenever I do my profit testing and everything, this is the pool all my numbers come from. And again, it's a smaller pool. You're not going to get payments every two seconds like you would see in flock pool if you're currently there. You got to keep in mind how payments even work. You have so many miners on flock pool that you're actually seeing a very, very small piece of dust of that block reward every time you get it but you're getting so many of them that you know it's slowly building up you move to a smaller pool it's going to take longer to find that block but when you do find that block remember it takes three and a half hours for that block to mature then once that block does mature is when you will start seeing your rewards based on that block but you will be getting larger chunks of that block again united states north america try this pool it's the one i use if you're from germany use our pool if you're from Hong Kong, G Pool, Zerg Pool is good for US, uh, Europe, and Asia. So take a look at all these pool. Coin Miners is decent. I tried solo. I didn't like their pool solo wise, but they have a wicked UI. So just try it. Try any one of these pools on this website. But the top 10 would usually be the best ones to pick. But I'm just telling you guys, 
We got to move more hash rate away from flock pool and make it more decentralized across this network. That sums up this video, guys. Just a quick one to kind of get the info out there that we cannot have so much hash rate on one pool. Again, if you guys don't want to move, that's fine, but it could potentially harm the price of this coin moving into the future. And I know the Raptorium devs definitely don't want that to happen because they are working hard to make this coin a better coin. And I personally love this coin myself, but looking at that, if it stays like that for too long, I don't really want to mine it myself. I'll move on to something else and find a different coin. But I really do like Raptorium, RTM. So I'm urging you guys, let's move around. Let's move our hash rate around. Let's get this more decentralized and let's grow this coin together and see what we can make out of it. Raptorium to the moon. Thank you for watching, everyone. And again, let me know what pool you're mining on. If you plan on switching or if you don't plan on switching, let me know what you think about Raptorium and CPU mining. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Rabbit out. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you haven't, please comment, subscribe, and like this video, as well as check out one of these other videos if you have not seen it yet. I do try to stream every Saturday and Sunday, so stay tuned for more future content.